I don't even need that. I, I laugh. Right. And let's just throw everything in like the kitchen sink. That's, under like, the, that's like me yes. saying to you, oh my God, I saw you looking at that hot girl. You totally want her. Like a mean girl scene, you know, you totally want her. Like she wants you to, like you want her. But that would be ridiculous, right? Right. <laughs> you know, that's I would be case. like, okay, right. sure. I, she's not my type. Not, not into it. Not feeling it. But instead of having that reaction, Kyle reacted in a very hyperbolic way. Why do you think, because like, look, there's so many things that are said about her by so many people. Why you? Like, even if it is true, everyone else is saying it and you're announcing there's a separation and there's things. And so we're like, okay, people get separated and divorced. Like, it's not like a right. failure. Who cares? Right. It happens. I think because um, the truth hurts and her reaction has to do with something that she just doesn't want the public to know because she feels like it makes her look bad and one would have to ask himself if marriages end every day and housewives real housewives at home that are watching the show understand that why what is she defending what is she worried about people seeing that wouldn't fit into her perfect scenario there's obviously something more I would make a joke about it. I'd be like, okay, well, where is Allison? I like should have listened to her 13 years ago. This could have saved me 13 years. Like I would, that would be me. I mean, it's, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, it's yeah. true. Joke's on me. Like, okay, let's move on now. She should have called me. We could have had a martini and like hashed it out. I could have given her some way forward advice, um, but that really wasn't what she was worried about. I, I think she's always worried about the castle being threatened. Why and, do you, yeah, yeah. I, like, what do you mean? Like the money or? Abs the money, the family, all of it. Her idea of what she wanted her life to look like and what's actually happening behind the scenes uh, being counter to that vision that she has. Why does she keep, she said it on Watch What Happens. Why does she, when you, and you collapse back, this whole thing of like, she says, you asked her, you know, and you said that night, you know, like, oh, right. this is your second marriage. Okay, so you're not going to get a divorce. She keeps referring to that. Right. Well, the thing that I had the problem with is she keeps misquoting me. And she keeps saying that I said divorce. And what I said was, I said a lot of things, but the last thing I had said was, when your kids are bigger, you'll have nothing in common. Yeah. That's not that terrible a thing to say. And that just seemed to eviscerate her. And she equated it with divorce. And she's like, oh, she must be picking up on Camille. She can deflect and say that. All, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it's not going to make it true. Camille and Kelsey were already having problems. I knew that because I knew them both very well. So when she says that, it's deflecting. And if you're in a courtroom, this is a tactic that you look for that indicates that you're getting too close to the truth. So when she did, when she does that, when she still repeats it, even though I keep correcting her when she misquotes me it's like I know you know every word that I said I know you've memorized the moment you've memorized the feeling stop misquoting me that's it be accurate well and I don't even know if you know this but she she was on I don't know the timeline of when this happened but she was on Kelly Clarkson do you know this and it, it, Kelly Clarkson well go and find this afterwards Kelly Cl okay. I, I haven't told you this yet Kelly Clarkson actually she didn't bring up your name but she's brought up the medium from the dinner party from hell obviously do you think she actually did that without Andy's prompting I mean let's be real Andy's the puppeteer he's pulling all the strings every interview that's set up the answers the questions all of that is already there so you think on like the Kelly Clarkson show, like that Andy had something to do with like, make sure you ask this question. What network is that on? I'm just not sure. 
I don't watch it. I'm not, I don't know if it's NBC. I, I will say this. Andy has a very far reach in television because TV isn't what it used to be. It doesn't have all of the heavy hitters and the great television shows, the, the solid writing. It doesn't have that anymore. So it's all off the cuff and who you know. So it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case or if the questions were laid out to her of what Kyle wanted asked. It might, I think it's NBC or Fox. I think it's okay. One of those. NBC is under the same yeah. umbrella, is the umbrella over Bravo. So just saying. It's either that or Fox because CBS is Drew Barrymore. So it's not that. Don't well, know. she said the same thing again. I mean, why you though? Why do you think she's so bothered by you? Like, because I told the truth and people heard it and people keep asking her about it. And she just wants to uh, be able to continue with the facade that she's happy, but she doesn't do a very good job of that on Housewives as of what I've watched last week and this week for you. Um, they're starting to show the cracks in the storyline of reality television in the show, probably because she started getting some support online from people. And they're like, oh, this isn't detrimental. It's okay to do this, but we have to give her something that makes her interesting. Without the Maurizio triangle of them separating and then me as sort of that catalyst in that situation uh, of what was said in the first season. Ha think about this. It's been 13 years. How many times has she brought my name up or had it brought up? She needs me. I don't need her. I'm good. I do readings. I write books. I have my podcast, The Dead Life. I'm good. So I'm happy. I'm content. I wish she would find that for herself and lose my name out of her mouth. Like, keep my name out of your mouth. I don't need it, and I don't like being tied to her. But I have to respond after she misquotes me publicly on national yeah. television because it's my accuracy, and I worked very hard for that in mediumship, and I don't need her out there saying things that aren't true. Even if she was right, which she's not, it's still not that big of a deal for me. I could recover from that. It's her. She needs my part in the whole dynamic of the relationship. Otherwise, she has nothing to go on talk shows about and really talk about because the episodes are flat. So if you don't think this is, if you think it's publicity, but yet they haven't been happy for a long time, which those rumors, I would agree with that. Those rumors are out there. Perez Hilton knows that too. He knows what's up. Perez brought it up. Mm. Do you think now, like, because to me, uh, this is just me and maybe I'm wrong. This all seems like they, because they did pick cameras back up when this happened. They added, the season was done. Of course like, they did. That Why? scene, and it seems like these are fake scenes. Like to okay, me, that scene with Mauricio seems so fake. Can't, can't you hear them saying, okay, this season is boring. We need something. I'm just saying it all like, and some people are 